There, look at the donkey. She's got it. Set the hook. All right, you always want to make sure you got a couple rods with you when you're going to a special event because you don't know who's got a pond on their property. All right. Two rods here, one with a frog and one with a little grub curly tail. I hear there's fish in here. Slice this pond apart. Let's see if I can get something. This little grub, curly tail grub. Pond looks like it's pretty low. Oh, there's bass in here. No money. Turn her off. Zach, what do you got? Mr. Cameraman here now puts the camera down and dad picks up the camera. First cast, baby. We're done here. Can't fish after the first cast. <laughs> All right, let's try again here. Ready? Ready. Got him. Look at him. Monster. Always kiss him. Well, it looks like the Cinco is working, huh? Yes, it does. And, and how you got it rigged? Wacky rigged. All right, get that fixed up and make another cast. It's weedy. All right, third cast now, huh? Number three. Looks like he's been hooked before. <laughs> Probably the same suck. <laughs> Could have been the same one. You're hungry. Pull that hook out of you. Nice and easy. Alright, let him go. Let's kiss him. Alright, that was his first hiding spot. Second, I think he's gonna move that way. Got 
Got him? There he goes. He's a screamer. Yeah. There we go. Another one. Another nice one. Huh? Pond fishing at its best. Oh, okay, barely man. got him. Yeah. Nope, he hasn't been caught yet. Just now he got caught. All right. Hook ready to go? Here. Remember that time, all those times when you took me out fishing and I never caught a thing and you caught them all? Payback. Did you hear that? Payback. All those times I took him fishing and he never caught nothing, he's catching them all tonight. All right. All right, hey, we're here at a party. And remember, you go to the party, Always see if there's a pond and always have a couple rods handy with you. And we'll go over some of the baits here shortly with you. Did you have fun? Yeah. Absolutely. We got to tell the person who owns the pond thank you for letting us catch some of his bass. All right, Zach. Fish out loud. All right, we're back home from Eastern Tennessee, back on the beach here in the Emerald Coast of Florida. And I wanted to go over this pond that we were able to fish. Um, I always take my rods with me because you just never, never know when you're gonna be able to go fishing. So uh, we were invited and saw a lot of great friends up in Eastern Tennessee. And this particular place was throwing a party. And of course they had a pond. Um, so we're glad we had the rods with us. My son and I went down and he absolutely smoked me. He caught six fish to my zero. So um, I'm gonna go over a little bit about the pond here first. So really important that when you're pond fishing you establish the deep part of the pond and the shallow part of the pond these green lines indicate where zach caught his fish and if you can see about half of the pond to the deep part is where he caught them all we had tulies on this side tulies on this side we had branches laying over with some shade pockets but he just seemed to get them out here this seemed to be the spot where he hooked those fish um, when I go pond fishing, first thing I want to do is I want to throw something top water. I love top water action. So I had a frog um, tied on, zero bites. Um, next thing I threw was a little curly tail grub. You can kind of see that there. A little curly, um, nothing. So we switched cameras and Zach right away started smoking them. And this happens to be my favorite color, Cinco. I call it a peanut butter and jelly Cinco. I'll have the information below here. Um, a nice hook. This happens to be a weedless hook and the O-ring. Uh, we set this up wacky style and if you can imagine if you ever put this into um, some clear water you'll see this just pulsates as it's going down and I love throwing wacky on this. Uh, just regular mono. Um, this happened to be kind of a dirty pond. It was low and I was shocked to get six bass out of there. I heard there's a lot more fish in there but um, that's what Zach managed to get is that using that Cinco, which I call peanut butter and jelly. And again, I'll have the information below. Remember, um, do below, I have some secrets that I'm gonna be giving away. And one of them is, um, if you ever get hung up, how to get your baits off without losing them. Because even these little Cinco's can be quite costly. And what I do is I try to use everything I can. This O-ring actually helps prevent it um, from breaking off so easily. All right, hope that helps. And remember, you're just one cast away. Hey, thanks a lot. Remember, click like, subscribe, and hit that bell because we're gonna be making a lot of videos. We're gonna demonstrate and teach you how to go out and catch more and bigger fish. Remember, you're just one cast away. We appreciate you, and let's fish out loud.